Argentine, Iowa is famous for their melons, but you can also grow your own melons successfully in your own backyard. And with me is Patrick O'Malley from ISU. And Patrick, tell us more about these melons. Well, we've got some seedless watermelon here, which are really gaining in popularity. And then we've got the musk melon. And these are ones that are grown, these particular ones were grown in Muscatine, Iowa, which is famous for their nice flavor. Mm -hmm. there's, a nice, there's a sandy soil there that really adds a characteristic flavor to the musk melon. However, the homeowner can grow musk melon and watermelon quite easily. Uh, with both of those, you can either just direct seed in the ground, or you can possibly uh, start transplants if you have access to a greenhouse or even a, a sunny window. Okay, now how do you know when they're ready to be picked? Well, that's a good question. Is With musk melon, it's pretty easy. As you can see, some of this netting forming on the fruit, and it'll get more kind of a yellowish color to it. But the thing we really use is the, the aroma, the smell of the musk melon, and also the, the stem end here. With the gentle pressure of your thumb, you can dislodge the stem when it's still hooked under the vine, and it will come it will come loose rather easily, and that's an indication that's right. You don't need to thump them. No. 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 With watermelon, sometimes people do that, but that's usually the commercial grower that's harvesting 1,500. For, just forget that whole idea. Okay. <laughs> what, what we look at is at the bottom of the fruit. When we see this nice yellowish color where it was laying on the ground, that's a definite indication that it's ripe. The other thing we can look at is where the stem was attached to the vine. There'll be a little tendril there. When that tendril starts to turn brown, that's a you wait about a week after that and then you harvest the fruit. Or the method I really like is if you're if you're buying from a big bin is just pick that biggest watermelon and it's sure to be fully ripe. Really? Yes. Okay, thanks for the tips. And if you would like more information on melons, be sure to log on to gardeninginthezone.com. I'm Liz Gilman.